multiple countries are now saying that they would recognize a Palestinian state. It's largely a symbolic move as the war between Israel and Hamas grinds on. NBC's Raf Sanchez reports from Tel Aviv. The United Nations says it's been forced to suspend food distribution in southern Gaza because of the intensity of the fighting there. It says its supplies are running low and it is simply too dangerous to distribute food. Meanwhile, in northern Gaza, we're getting an update from the Pentagon about that temporary pier built by the U.S. military. They say at this point, no aid delivered through that pier has actually reached hungry civilians who need it. Now, this comes after war crimes prosecutors accused Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of deliberately starving Palestinian civilians in Gaza. That's an allegation the Prime Minister denies, saying Israel is allowing food in by land, sea, and air. But earlier today, three European states, Ireland, Norway, and Spain, announcing that they will recognize an independent state of Palestine. They say that that is the only way to keep the two-state solution alive and the prospect of long-term and enduring peace between Israelis and Palestinians. Israel is slamming the move, calling it a reward to both Hamas and Iran, and it is recalling its ambassadors in protest. Raf Sanchez, NBC News, Tel Aviv. Israel also released video today of the moment that seven female Israeli soldiers were kidnapped from their base during the Hamas terror attack back in October. Of those seven, one was rescued early, one was found dead, and the other five remain in Hamas captivity.